Welcome to day 250 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Sharon Horn Nelson here, and today we are continuing with the SOAP framework. We're talking about the O in the SOAP framework, which stands for options. And we want to remember that whenever we're considering options, there are actually probably infinite possibilities in terms of what we can do or could possibly do in order to fill the gap between the story we told ourselves yesterday, the story of where we are right now versus that area of confidence we want to improve versus where we want to be. Now I picked my appearance as mine, which is kind of an embarrassing one, but true. I want to feel more confident about my appearance, about how I show up in the world in different scenarios and different situations. So the tool we're going to use to explore options today is what I call, and we've talked about this, I've talked about it dozens of times, the 1031 tool. It's a brainstorming tool where we come up with at least 10 possible options and some of them are going to be far-fetched and outrageous, and we would probably never do them. But by letting ourselves think outside the norm and the box and the way we usually think, chances are we'll come up with a better solution, a better option to choose to take action on than if we didn't brainstorm. If we didn't let ourselves just go wild and use our imagination like we did when we were kids to come up with possibilities. So <clears throat> I started brainstorming my 10. I will share the ones I have so far. I think I'm one short. Uh, but I need a magnifying glass, <clears throat> for how I want to, and different areas and possibilities I can look at with respect to being more confident in my appearance. Number one, dress for success. I can dress more successfully instead of just randomly grabbing something every day and throwing it on. Uh, I can actually intentionally decide what's my style, what do I want to look like, how do I want to present myself, etc. I can... Uh, maintain good personal hygiene. Always, always important, right? Uh, if we stink, literally, we're probably not feeling very confident. Uh, exercise regularly, I pretty much do that. Uh, healthy diet, uh, not so much. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Uh, I think I eat pretty healthily, but then I go on my little junk food jaunts, so probably not. I can always improve in that area. Hairstyle matters. Uh, yeah, definitely need help with that one. That might be one of my three. Actually, I think I'm going to circle that right now. So I brainstorm a list of at least 10 things, and then I'm going to select three. I'm just going to pick three, and I get to decide why and how I'm going to pick those three. Uh, skincare routine. Smile more. We can all smile more. I always uh, had a crooked smile. I had a, an accident when I was a little girl. I was two, and I was running around the house, and I tripped on a trike. Yes, I tripped on a tricycle. And we, my sister, I, I think I did it probably, but we had taken the handlebar covers off where they have that sharp metal round thing. And I hit my face on that and ripped out a tooth and some stuff and had to have dental surgery and all kinds of crazy stuff when I was two. I remember most of my dad coming home from work and bringing me a present. And we never really saw my dad during the day because he worked a lot. And uh, so ever since then, I really haven't smiled much. So I need to remember to smile more, crooked smile or not. Uh... Positive body, oh, posture and body language. We need to pay attention to our posture and body language to feel more confident. If I'm slouching, I'm probably not feeling very confident. If my head's down, I'm probably not feeling very confident. So I want to pay attention to my body language in different situations because just by changing our posture, just by changing our body, we actually get more energy. Uh, what else did I write? Oh. Seek professional help. I definitely probably need some professional help when it comes to hair and makeup and things like that. Oh, and that one was so important to me, I wrote it down twice to get to my 10. So uh, I guess one could be mental and, and psychological, uh, positive thinking, professional help, and one could be actual professionals like hairstylists, makeup artists, uh, personal trainers, things like that. So am I going to haul out and get a personal trainer tomorrow? Hmm, probably not, but it can go on my list because I am letting myself brainstorm, meaning I'm not judging, I'm just writing down what pops into my head. You know, maybe I've got a friend who's a personal trainer and, and I can have a few sessions with him or her. Uh, maybe I've got, uh, I do definitely have friends who are, are hairstylists that would love to consult me and say, yeah, it's time to come out of the 80s and into the the 21st century. I'm still back in the 20th century. I don't even know if I'm in the 20th century with my style and things. So our action item today is to come up with at least 10 options for 
filling the gap between where we are and where we want to be with respect to the area of confidence that we've selected to look more deeply at. I like to think of when I'm applying the SOAP framework, it's an improvement area. It almost always is, but then oftentimes our goals are too. Usually my confidence goals are areas where I feel like I could be better in, which is an improvement area, and so I'm going to select those to work on and set my goals in. And SOAP framework is just a day-to-day -day supplemental tool that we can use. And hopefully we've got it installed in our subconscious by now, so it just has become automatic. But every once in a while, we need to pull it to the conscious level and actually apply it step by step by step by step because we're dealing with a bigger issue or a bigger challenge. All right, any questions? You know you can always hit me up and ask. You can always go to the private Facebook group, the Get Up and Go Challenge private Facebook group page, and there are literally dozens and dozens of examples of the SOAP framework and each of the different components of the SOAP framework, the S, the O, the A, and the P, and you can search in the sidebar to just search options, the word options, and you will get literally hundreds, of, you'll get hundreds of responses. All right, have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Pick three of your options, circle them, and we're going to use them to analyze and take action tomorrow. Have a great day, and I'll, of course, see you tomorrow.